Right now then. So, today I'm in the woods. And for me, this is probably my favorite place to be really. I do love being on top of a mountain. I love camping out. I love all the wild camping, but it's almost too easy to do because you just have all the gear there. You've got your tent, you've got your sleeping bag. You know, you, you've already looked after before you even start. Um, so for me, I like being in the woods because I like to um, utilize my brain and just, you know, try to overcome all the problems that you get. So um, I've made myself a problem tonight and that is, I am doing a three item survival. <laughs> it's not exactly survival, it's only one night. I will survive, but what it is, I have chosen three items and uh, as uh, you can probably tell already, it's raining. So item number one, I have gone with a shelter, which is just a tarp, simple tarp. And that is the first thing I'm gonna have to get set up just so we've got a base to work from because we do not get, wanna get wet, especially if we're just sleeping out as we are in our clothes, that's all I've got. So item number two, I need a tool for doing something, making a few bits and bats. So that's my Grandfall Brooks axe. Um, absolutely awesome axe and it's small enough. You can do a little more, bit more detailed work with that. Um, anyway, we'll hopefully be able to uh, make a few bits, get some firewood, you know, try to get some dry bits to burn because it's been wet for <laughs> the last sort of two weeks. So everything's wet. So actually lighting a fire is gonna be hard. Which brings me on to item number three cheap and cheerful fire starter so with this at least uh, I can get a spark not that way yeah, it don't work very well anyway I can get a spark and uh, hopefully we can light a fire and at least we can uh, keep warm and cook I've got food I've got the clothes on my back basically um, and that's it. I've also got, um, cheating a little bit, I've got my down jacket, which I, I'm going to put on under this waterproof because at least I've got some sort of warmth. <coughs> it's meant to be getting down to about five degrees tonight, so it is going to be cold. So I really need to think about this. So anyway, I just love this. This is my game, definitely. So let's get on and have a go. So a key thing to do is while you're on your way, is actually uh, just uh, grab what you can while you're passing it that's going to help you later on so for me lighting a fire is going to be a key tonight so i need to make sure that i'm uh, getting hold of some bits of dry wood some sort of kindling that's actually going to um take a spark and also stay lit because <laughs> honestly it's been wet for two weeks now and everything's going to be sodden so anyway the uh first port of call that i would always go for to is um a holly tree um purely because any holly it's just underneath, it stays dry, it's under the leaves and it's just so combustible and it breaks so easily, it just dries out. But mainly what you're after is, let me just show you, there's uh, all these tiny little bits and these are great just for starting the uh, fire off. So if I just uh, grab some of these. So I'll grab a load and then uh, that's hopefully going to get us <laughs> at least a flame going. So as I gather this, I've actually got my bag on my back but I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to use the pockets I've got just to shove a few bits in. But I'll just make sure I've got a good pocket full just so I've got more chance of actually getting a fire lit later on. But holly is the best for burning, starting the fire off. Learned that from my dad as a kid. <laughs> we came up here thousands of times, lighting fires. It was always the go-to tree for us. So, great way of starting a fire. A bit of birch. So hopefully, if we can just peel some of this off. Let's get down to that brown stuff. If you can see that, that's exactly what we want. I'll keep stuff in my pockets and get as much of this as I can. Hopefully, if I can sort it out properly, we'll take a decent spark.
Oh, oh you mother. Oh, jeez. Oh, what foot right in. A gnarly old tree. So one thing I don't have with me is water. <laughs> so obviously that's a key part of this. You've got to make sure that you've got something to drink. Now I've got no method of carrying water. I've got no bottles, anything like that. So obviously I'm trying to find a perfect uh, water source. And this looks pretty awesome to be honest. It's coming straight out of the ground and um, it's been filtered through the ground for, you know, a good few hundred metres up there. So it's already probably pretty clean. Ideally, it needs boiling, but um, we'll see if we can uh, maybe fathom some way of doing that. If not, it might have to be the fact I'm drinking out of the ground. But anyway, let's move on. I'm going to have to camp probably near here, purely because I've got a water source. So what I'm trying to do is find somewhere that's already fairly sheltered purely because it's been so wet for so long that if it's already had some shelter hopefully it'll be a bit drier on the ground so obviously i need to uh i should lay on the ground somewhere there's lots of little nooks and crannies that's actually not too bad because it's quite hidden there looks interesting Tell you what, that would not be a bad shout as a spot to sleep. Looks dry already, without a tarp. Not sure what'll be down these holes though. <laughs> There's quite a few natural holes around and about. But I'm starting to get wet now, so I need to uh, think about getting set up. And this uh, this doesn't look too bad down here. It's fairly flat on the ground. But this massive rock on the back. And then there's a few trees around and about, which uh, hopefully I can utilise just to get this tarp set up somehow. So this, to me, doesn't seem too bad. It's actually quite soft. And obviously I've got no mattress. So straight away, if I've got a slight bit of soft ground, it should actually help for the comfort for the night. And if I just look over here where the dogs decided to try to eat a full tree, um, there's loads of leaves there, which I can gather up and actually make more of a mattress out of maybe. Right, mm. well, um, I'm already wet to be fair. And obviously under this jacket, everything's all right. But you know, if we glance down to my trousers, absolutely soaking already. So, this is going to be it, this is camp. I'm going to have to make this do. Uh, the, uh, so I'm going to clear the area a little bit, make sure there's nothing uh, that's just going to decapitate me. Don't look like there's uh, any widow makers or anything around. But obviously this is what I need to just double check, make sure there's uh, no dead wood hanging above my head. It did actually say it's going to get 20 mile an hour winds tonight as well. So I'm a bit more sheltered in the woods, but Hey, all adds to it, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> I love this though. Right. Well, here we go. Let's use these three items wisely. There's actually quite a bit of dead wood here under this holly tree, which obviously, because it's actually standing in the tree, it's going to be fairly dry to start, so I'll just uh, gather and hold some bits together. Perfect. So, having the tarp as one of my items, obviously it's going to keep me dry, hopefully, but it's uh, attaching it to something because I actually um, haven't got any uh, paracord because obviously that will be another item and that is cheating. Three items only, eh? So, um, I'm going to uh, hopefully just chop some. Uh, sticks 
that I can use as like a, a ridge line and maybe just pull it over the top of that. And with the tarp as well, I think I'm gonna have to fold it under myself and actually form some sort of a waterproof barrier between me and the floor because um, laid on the floor, it's, it is gonna be damp, no doubt about it. So anyway, let's see what I can find. <laughs> <laughs> this dog there, he loves playing it woods. So if you want to break something, all you have to do is put a breaking point in it. You don't need to use the axe to go all the way through. So there we go. Hopefully, one decent ridge line. I've got one support at one side. I need to think about this other side now. Well, I'm just going to cut a piece with a V on there. So hopefully I'll be able to stick, sharpen that up, get that stuck in the ground at that end. And at least I can pull my tarp over the top of it, hopefully. Also here, I've got two V's. So when they're pulled together, at least it's not gonna go anywhere. It almost locks itself in place, giving it not a bad joint straight away. And I'm trying to do this quickly, because it is raining. It's probably seven o'clock now, and it's gonna be dark in about two hours. So we need to get in, dry, fire on. All right, hammer this into the ground somehow now. Yeah, that'll do there, I think. I'm going to struggle with that. There we go. Bash it in by hand, eh? So straight away, that'll take a tap. I'll probably shore it up a little bit just in case it does get windy. So, one of my three items, get the tarp out. As I said, this tarp's already got all these tie-ons, but I'm not going to use them because that's cheating. So <laughs> I'll find another method. If I whip this over this uh, ridge line here, and hopefully we'll be able to sort of see what it's going to turn out like. So in a very simple fashion, that's what it's going to be. I just need to work out a way of uh, making this comfortable and dry enough for me and the dog to sleep in. Hey Blue, come here. <laughs> this is home for the night. Awesome, eh? I know dog, it's wet. So this tarp has got some uh, eyelets on it, tie-on points. So what I'm gonna do is, 
the end of this, if I sharpen that enough, just so that'll sit on it there, and then what I'll do is, because this is green, I'll be able to chop that off, attach that on, and because it's got a bit of spring to it, it should hold it quite taut. So first of all, let's sharpen this baby. I can't do that one handed. So chop that off. What I'm gonna do is use the tarp there, that tie on point. I'm gonna hook it on. And because this has got a bit of spring to it, because it's green and growing, that should just keep that taut, but it's gonna slip off. So I'm gonna put a tiny little notch in it just to hold that. Oh my God, it's absolutely persisting it down. There we go, that's got it. So this in the same way, what I'll do is, I've just uh, showed this up a little bit by adding some extra Vs that are just gonna hold that all together. But, that'll just slip over that one there. And all I need to do is pull this one out somehow. So again, I might have to put a stake in the ground for that, but actually, it's quite a, if you look up here, there's a branch up there that if I pull down, I might be able to get a bit of a tension through. Well, I've got a tarp up in a fashion which will keep me dry. And I don't really have time to mess about. And because it is only one night and it is more of a survival game rather than comfort, that should do. So next job, I'm going to try my best just to uh, light a fire. Here you come here. Lie down, Blue. Good boy. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Well, this is, in a fashion, a shelter. <laughs> I tell you what, it's actually really difficult, especially when it's wet, just to get your mind focused on uh, making something work. But my body weight's going to lay on here. That's going to hold this bottom section in place, and hopefully all this top's going to be all right. But already, you see. A problem because I've got standing water on the top there which means at some point this will end up collapsing so I'm gonna to have to rectify that but I think first job I'm gonna to have to uh, while I've still got some light gather some firewood and just uh, get myself sorted so I can actually have a fire down here somehow so let's back on go find some dead standing so if you don't know what dead standing is it's uh trees that have died and fallen over or they're still actually standing in the ground dead um, which means that the wood within hopefully it'll uh, shake water off a lot better by being upright and the more vertical the better really because the less chance that water's uh, soaked into it to be fair everything's going to be wet <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a tricky one but um, anyway there's plenty of dead trees around you can just see one there but as I say, I'll just have a scalp around and see what I can find and then try to find some sort of wood that's going to actually burn. Because this, <laughs> honestly, is going to be... This is horrific already this night, so... Ah, dear me. I won't cry yet. <laughs> I love it, really. So this doesn't look too bad, to be honest. It's fairly vertical, some of that. It does look wet, but I'll... Uh, have to do my best just to try dry it out but at least it's um a size that i can actually manage with this axe to be fair this axe can do some damage like i've already uh, lost this once it's probably the most common thing that gets lost when you're out in the woods you can't even see it because it just blends in totally with everything so I'll just make sure every time try to pop it in a pocket right i'm going to try uh Chop some of this down. Oh, 
it looks pretty dry. Inside that is. That's one decent piece. And this one as well. I'll uh, go for this bit which is more vertical rather than taking that bit which looks as if it's uh, going to be a bit more wet. Yeah, that's definitely rotten. Right, let's get this back then and uh, I'm gonna have to see about getting a fire actually lit. <laughs> there there, might be tricky. I've just uh, helped this shelter a little bit. I've got it actually to fall to the back. Just by looping it on here and there. I'll just bring it a bit tauter. So I'm gonna scrape some of this back. I'm gonna light a fire quite close to where I'm gonna sleep, to be honest, uh, just so I can actually get some heat off it and um, hopefully it'll dry me and my dog out because we're both soaking. I'm not miserable yet though. <laughs> it takes a hell of a lot to get me to feel miserable, honestly. Yeah, I actually just love this. This is me feeling alive. Absolutely love it. So, fire time. This is gonna be fun. Just scrape back enough to not catch any of the grounder light. Ooh. Yeah, just scrape back enough just to get rid of anything that's dry, potentially, or dead that's gonna actually catch a light. You don't wanna set fire to the ground, but to be honest, it's absolutely sodden everywhere, so I don't see there being a problem. Right, so, what I gathered earlier then. Let's see if we can uh, get a fire lit. A bit of birch bark. And a pocket full of dry holly, hopefully. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try as best I can I need a little platform really, because um, I don't want to be scraping onto my finger, that's all, because I might potentially cut my finger. So I'm just going to get myself a piece of wood. Oh look, that might just do it. Let's go with that, and I'm just going to use my axe. I might have to drag towards me, it's a bit easier. And fluff up some of this birch bark. And although it's slightly wet, it's still got a good chance of taking a spark. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. I'll just put that aside and I'll get a bit more. So just then, just slightly touched my finger and just broke the skin. It's not going to bleed, but I just have to be very careful when you're out here. I've got no first aid kit or anything like that. Did it again, I've got to be careful. So hopefully that's a bit better. So I'm just going to break up some of this as well onto here. Make it as thin as possible, it's got more chance of igniting then. I 
And then we have the third item, which you use for seconds this, but it's probably just as important as anything else, even though I've used the axe absolutely loads. So I'm just gonna scrape off a little bit more onto here without sparking it and then hopefully it'll just have more chance of igniting. There's a lot riding on this to be honest because uh, if I don't get this lit yeah I have to get this lit. Right let's see then if I can get this sparked up. Go straight away first time. There we go. Come on, took a bit of time that. Not went to light. Oh, come on. We've still got a little bit of heat started. Come on. Come on, my little darling. Come on. Come on. Oh, we have fire. Well, we have fire. So, I need to get this uh, fed, because all this wood I'm breaking now breaks well very wet on the outside so this tiny bit of heat that I've generated I need to make sure that it's going to dry these bits out enough to actually ignite them all because just as fast as a fire can be lit it can go out again as well <laughs> and that can be demor demoralizing Try to utilise some of these bits here, which are slightly wetter but a bit thicker. <laughs> yes, fire! I'll just get some piled up in a bit of a pyramid. And the heat from underneath keeps drawing up and drying out some of this timber that I'm putting on. Don't lose this just in case. That goes back in the pocket. Right, let's have a go at blowing this then. Wet, very wet. This. Yeah, these uh, trousers are sodden, but um, I've got uh, the knee pads in here, so they're really good when you're lighting fires and you can kneel around it. But ideally, I want to keep myself as dry as possible because <laughs> I am wet. Uh, hey, brilliant.
So, shelter, fire, food and water next. Water's gonna be the hard one. I can drink straight out there, but I can't carry it. I can't carry it. I could use the tarp to carry it, but obviously that's either cutting a section off it, which I don't really wanna do. Or taking this down and using the whole lot. <laughs> Not ideal though. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Love it. Right, let me uh, make my axe safe. Uh... Yeah, just because the sheath's wet, it's swollen, so it's actually tightened up a bit on there. Let me dry it off a bit. Happy days, eh? So before it gets too dark, um, I'm just gonna go to that water source and I'm just gonna have a big swig. I'm not gonna get a chance to make any bowl or any, any way of actually carrying that water. Now that fire's lit, I can leave that a minute and I'm, I'm gonna uh, walk to this water. Here's a dog. Every time out in the woods, all he ever does is uh, I'll be like battering trees down and cutting things, and that's all he does. Does exactly the same, he just wants to be part of the pack doing exactly what I'm doing. Absolutely ace that lad. Come on then, Blue. Come on. He's a good lad. Oh, dog. All right, come on, let's get a drink. Well, dog got there before me. Oh. Well, that's all I've got to drink out of and they're absolutely filthy. So I might just wash my hands first. Put in it then. This is where these knee pads come in actually. I've already got wet trousers so oh they're right in my ear. Oh, pretty cold. That's one thing I can't do is get my hands cold, because then I'm pretty useless for doing everything else. Well, just having a drink, uh, actually, really um, gives you a bit of a lift, really, because it's just pretty wet and miserable, <laughs> to be fair. So just, uh, yeah, that, that actually is really nice. But I've got no way of carrying any or holding any. And I do not have time, it's getting dark now, really. Oh man, I mean, I could use my knee pad. It's sort of almost a cup, but it's just, it won't hold hardly anything. My jacket is a possibility, but I need that to keep me dry. I don't know, if I had more time, I'd uh, manufacture something, chop a bit of a log and then carve something out of it. Anyway. Could use my hood. All right. 
could to use my hood, it's actually a clip on. Hey. Wait there. It is, it clips on, does this thing? It's, <laughs> it's wet through already, so. Well, there we go, I've got a bowl. Ah, oh dear. This could be a. This could be it. I'm excited now. Well, this is Gore Tex. I don't know whether it's going to hold water well or not, but I'll have a go. It might just do. It might just do. Let's see if I can gather it together. Well, it's dripping out, but I don't know whether that's uh, leaking through or just from the outside. There we go, I've got some water. And a spout. Oh. Well, it works, but I won't be able to boil it. The only way I could boil it would be to. Um, Heat some uh, stones up, make some like hot rocks, and they'll get to like probably two or three hundred degrees, and then just drop them into the into here to actually boil the water. But the problem is, they'll sink to the bottom, and then um, just burn a hole in it. So I'd have to uh, I'd have to form a frame if I was to uh, try boil it inside the hat, and then. Um, then the rocks just sit on the frame, still boil the water. Anyway, that's one to think about for the future. I'm not doing it tonight because I've already drunk this water, so if I'm going to get poorly, I'm going to get poorly. But uh, anyway. <sighs> Cheers. It's not quite a beer, but... <laughs> Cheers, guys. Hear this way, Blue? I can see the smoke. Quite easy to get turned around in this place. It's all very green and rocky. So I'm back at camp. As you can see, it's getting dark now. I've still got this, which is the uh, hood of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just so I've got a bit to drink for the next sort of hour. I'm gonna dig a little hole in the ground and just pop this in and then just leave it. <laughs> and hopefully uh, nothing climbs into it that I don't want to drink. But anyway, it's gonna be a bit of protein, it'll be right. I've got some food to cook, but barring just holding on a spike, a couple of bits of uh, what I've got, and it's not even easy to cook. Well, one's a potato. <laughs> now I'm going to eat a potato, eh? Eh, oh, dear me, that is going to be fun. So I might be keeping my dad happy and uh, having to go raw tonight. What are potatoes like raw? I don't think I've ever had them. I like crisps, and I like mashed potato, and roast potato, oh my god. But raw potato. I'm not sure about that one. Just gonna get this fire going again and 
Give me a bit of a, a lift, a lift in life. <laughs> God, everything is wet. Oh yes, fire blue, fire. I'm gonna keep the light tonight, dog. See this bit's got a bit of moss on. It's obviously uh, very old and rotten. If you put moss on it, it smokes like hell, it's horrible. So ideally you get rid of that first. Oh, it's all quite mossy. Say so, smoking keeps the uh, bugs away, but there won't be any when it's this wet. Right, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I've got to eat then. So, we have some mini corn. Roast those. Pepper. Definitely roast the pepper. Carrots aren't a bad shout because you can just eat them raw. We can eat it all raw. Some chorizo. Um, again, you can just eat that as it is, but ideally you want to warm that up and get some of those nice oils out of it. And last but not least, <laughs> a tirty. I can't eat that like an apple, can I? But I might have to. But no way roasting it or anything. I think the best idea is just get it on fire now. It's got a place that's going to get a bit of heat without it falling in. I've got some gloves which will at least give me a second to grab it off. I think that's the best idea get this potato on somehow. I'll tell you what, this is my green bit of uh, wood so it won't burn. So hopefully, oh look, that won't be a bad show actually. Let's get the axe. <laughs> Proper thinking on the spot this one. But I could maybe use that just to cup, cup the potato. How can I cut this? I need to hit against something. And then at least if it's sat on a, a piece of wood that I can move around, I can actually control the heat then, take it off when it's getting too hot. I've cooked potatoes loads of times on fire, but always um, in tin foil. So this is a first. Actually, if I keep them wispy bits there, they might actually stop the turtle falling off. Right, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. Let's uh, just get that near the heat. Somehow. Quite hard this, I've made it a bit small for myself. There we go. There we go, potato! Pepper. Let's just get that on somehow as well. I'll tell you what I could do. I don't want to go anywhere because it's just wet out there. I've got no hood anymore. I'm wet through as it is, but I'll tell you what I'll do. There's a bit of a off cut from the wood I chopped earlier. So I'll just go out there and I'm going to and make a skewer in some way. Oh, my tete, I've lost it. I have a leaf and tete. That's no good. Come here, let's 
get you back on there. And then flame. Oh my god, the heat of that fire is so good now. So I'm going to just do one of these green bits here. Try and make just some sort of skewer. No dog, it's wet in it. We are daft. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. So, I think we've got bits on it already. I think that's the best idea. Oh, I'm burning my potato. So we can have roasted pepper too. Tell you what, with an axe. Generally I'll always have a knife with me that's a bit of a bushcraft type knife. But with that, because it's small enough, you can do quite a lot with it really. Right, I wonder if I can make it sharp enough points to actually go through some of these corn and the cobs. It's a mini corn, it's like a really tiny, so it'd be hard to actually get get some sort of bit of a spike through it I think. So this is the first time. Nope, just split that way. Quite raw. Oh my god, it's so good. They're going down raw, they are really nice. See what I can do with chorizo. Plastic in your pocket. Leave no trace. So that's a pretty big chunk to be fair. But dog will have some. Not a spicy one. So that ain't a bad fit for that. Good blue. Oh, it's back. Is it really? Come here. Um, I can use blue. Right, come up there then. Come on. Right on. Good boy. You stay there. You are absolutely wet through. This could be a really cold night for both of us. It's really raining now. <laughs> Look at that. Let's uh, get some flavour out of this one. Oh, off my potato again. Ouch. Oh no, I've really lost it. Failure. Total failure. make a spike. Think quick. Oh, there we go. Saved it. Saved it, it's good. No, <laughs> it's gone again. Oh my God, come on. It's quite handy having a bit of a green stuff just close by because you use it for all sorts of stuff I think I'm melting the bottom of my shoe I'll tell you what I'm actually drying out here a bit as well which is a good thing you can see this steam coming up here oh man here comes the weather it's actually raining I can feel moisture coming in this way Turn that. So, chorizo. I need that to cook a 
over the top of that. I'm not scared that's going to fall in, so I'll just make a bit of a, a V. It's not going to be close enough. I need to shorten it. On it. Come on. Whoa. We're not going to lose that. Hey, there we go. Not exactly the uh, best thing I've made for this potato, but sometimes you just got to use what's to hand. Really ain't much at the minute. So my starter then I'm gonna eat some of these. Really nice raw. This dog will like it. Right. He don't eat veg at all. You put like a bit of carrot in with his food. You'll clean the whole ball out and there'll be that one piece of carrot left in there. Let's get some of this wood on just to dry it out. You can see that shining there. Absolutely wet through. I haven't played hot potato for ages. Oh yeah. It's a light game. Carrot as well. Do you know what? This is a situation which is, for most, probably horrible. Absolutely horrible. And although it's wet, it's raining, my clothes are wet, but drying out. And, you know, I've got very basic food to eat. But, this is honestly just the most amazing feeling. It's, it's like you're grounding yourself and you're just, you know, you're part of everything. You're part of the earth. And this is where we should be. No, we shouldn't be sat on... Uh, all these manufactured things, walking on manufactured pavements and roads, and living in boxes. You know, this is where we're from. I love this, it's like primal. It just makes you just feel like you're really living. So yeah, I would definitely advise it. Get yourselves out and do a bit. I won't advise drinking water though, like I have done. Um, I'm pretty sure it's fine. But you never know, water's something that, you know, you can get really poorly from. But that's the only thing. The rest of it, God, anyone can survive a night. That's why I'm doing it. Just, uh, just to sort of show that with very basic things, you can still have a decent night out. Look what I get to eat. <laughs> There's here. Some very appetising food. I'll tell you what, that chorizo's looking good though. I just love it, absolutely love it. The heat that I'm getting around here though, it's actually uh, totally draining everything out. What I'm going to do is, this leg's uh, blocking the heat going to the dog and the dog's wet. So I'm just going to move out of the way so he can get a bit of that heat. And I'll carry on eating my carrot. Number two. I think that potato's going to be a problem. I'll be eating half of that raw, I reckon. It'll probably be uh, on the outside. I don't think it'll be that bad. <laughs> just stop dropping it. Yowza. Oh my god.
come on. Live there. <laughs> Yowza. Blah, blah, blah. That is hot. It nearly brought out some colourful language then. There we go. I'm always very calm though. I don't really ever sort of uh, get to that point where I'm angry. It's not really me. So look at that chorizo. And that pepper's looking pretty good too. We won't talk about the potato. <laughs> but I'm going to still eat it. Why not, eh? What if you were actually surviving? You'd eat anything. Chorizo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to let that cool off as well. Quite handy having these um, sticks and skewers. One thing that I didn't get a chance to do is uh, level this ground up. It's actually leaning over slightly. So this is going to be well uncomfortable tonight. Just sleeping on the... There's a little bit of giving it, but it's not going to be comfortable. So look at this. Oh my god, the flavour in that is amazing. Let's get the magic axe out. That's all I've got to use. Slice off. Oh, my God! Oh, my God, that is amazing. What I haven't got is some sort of chopping board. Sometimes it's quite good just to get like um, a bit of a log from a green tree. When I say green, that means it's uh, still living rather than dead. Um, and just uh, shave off a bit that's flat. And at least you've got like a bit of a chopping board, which you can, uh, especially using for food. this now, see how sharp this axe is. Oh, that's really sharp. I'm do it on here. The chopping board. Oh my god. Mm. Chorizo. Oh, it's so crispy on the outside, it's beautiful. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Roasted pepper and chorizo, that is it, that's what it's all about. Try some. Day. Put some pepper with it. Yeah, promise it's good. <laughs> well, are you going to eat it? It won't eat bad. This is actually a really good method of um, keeping your food clean. Totally keeps it off the ground. And just get it out when you need it. Chop off what you need. And you can stick it back. It works really well. All right, let's just uh, see what's going on with the potato. I don't really want to eat black burnt stuff. It's not good for you. Well, it's, <laughs> it's softened a little bit. Let's have a...
and the top five millimeters is quite nice potato. Then underneath it's just raw. Just say it's been on fire quite a while. Ow. Well, we're surviving, so can't let it go to waste. I'm gonna have to eat the whole thing. Yep, totally raw in the middle. <laughs> If the dog growling or barks, it means there's something around. Um, here in these woods, the thing that is most likely going to be is um, a deer. Not really much else I would have thought. All right, Blue, you stay there, it's good. Hey, good boy. So there's probably a couple of deer just walking past. Definitely not going to be another human. You see, it's still absolutely slashing it down. So, there's the dog food. He's having to survive just like me. So he's eating off the floor. Go on then, Blue. You can have it. Well, food. That wasn't too bad. So what I need to do now is uh, see if I've still got this water available. So dark, can't see anything. Oh. Well, I've got... A little bit left. Oh look, leaf in it. Yeah, I just spilt a little bit then, although it's coming out. Anyway, this is going to give me at least a drink before bedtime. Because it is cold. It's getting cold. Because everything's wet, it's going to be a uh, it's going to be hard to um, maintain body heat, I would say. It's not too bad with the fire on now, but... Once you're laid on the ground and the ground's sucking the heat from your body, so I've got no insulation underneath me. But it's just one night. That's all it is, one night. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely so wet. Let me see if I can dry it out. There we go. I think, uh, think quick. Just use what you've got within arm's reach, really. wet socks so I'm just going to try to dry my boots out and my socks out on fire dog's a bit wet but um, he seems quite happy he's not cold he's actually just falling asleep and twitching a bit he's a good lad isn't he proper love that dog hey up well, three item survival. It's actually quite a tricky one. I just thought, uh, what can I do just to um, just test myself a little bit, really? 
and um, so I came up with this idea. So this is what I'm going to do for my channel. I'm going to uh, keep doing the uh, three item survival and um, just chop and change with the items and obviously I'll pick things that are going to suit particular uh, nights to do with weather and everything else going and where I'm going, I guess. But um, tonight, you know, I've chosen, uh, I think I've chosen well. I'm still here, I'm still surviving. So, so yeah, this is a 3b3 tap, a DD hammocks tap it is. Um, and this is pretty good because you can just wrap it sort of around you and, you know, worst case scenario, you just turn it into a bivy bag, really. Um, but it's been great because I've covered up out of the rain and uh, obviously I've got a fire lit and the fire's sort of under this tarp as well which um, definitely helps uh, and the fire's keeping me really warm at the minute um, so yeah that goes to second uh, item and that was the um, fire lighter and without that tonight oh my god I would just be it would be a sad place, <laughs> a sad place to be just like raining all night and no heat and um I mean, I've currently got uh, loads of heat coming off this fire, which is great. But um, when I've laid down and just sort of tested what the ground's like, um, my hips laid on the side, um, touching the ground, and then my shoulder, straight away I can feel the heat being zapped from my body. So, you know, the night's not over yet. I'm going to really, really struggle with that, I think. Um, you know, I'm dry um, underneath, but I'm not going to be uh, warm enough I don't think so anyway we'll see how we get on if I had more time I'd have done loads more did things but um, you know situation like this is a survival situation and I've done pretty well I would say um, warm dry fed um, <laughs> eating well but um, having a nice uh, raw potato that was that were nice anyway um, so yeah and uh, you know choosing uh, an axe is my third item um, Ah, do you know what that Grands Falls um, Brook axe is? It's absolutely awesome. Is that uh, you can do some serious work with it, and uh, you know it's almost as good as a knife for doing the more finer things. But um, it's done perfectly tonight, so exactly what I wanted to do. So yeah, a good choice um, so far, and obviously I just need to get through the night. And that's it. But um, anyway, I'll sign off. I'm gonna uh, just stoke the fire and get it uh, sort of going a bit better just so it keeps me going uh, keeps me warmer for a bit longer and um try sleep eh so anyway right i will be resting these old bones somehow in a very chilly way but i'm sure i'll make it it's only one night happy days Well, it's about 2.45 now and uh, it is freezing, it's really cold. I woke up about 1.30 um, and I just had like, I wasn't shivering but I just had uh, shudders running through my spine and um, I've sort of been like that for the last hour now and um, I've just been thinking of ways I can try to get warm and it's not so much that the uh, heat's been taken away from me you know, on the top side of my body. It's um, been laid against the ground. It's really pulling the heat out of me. And this is why, uh, you know, we use these insulated mats, you know, with the R value that's uh, going to be able to accommodate for the time of year. And uh, without a mat, it is so cold. So what I've done is I've taken one knee pad out and I've... Uh, just pop that under my hip which is just the point of contact which I was definitely losing a lot of heat um, so that's uh, actually helped a little bit and um, anyway <laughs> oh dear. this is what the, the point of this game is three item survival and uh, it's definitely you know at that point now it's like I, f I feel it's you know it's getting to that point of survival just trying to keep warm, you know, feet are definitely uh, cold. Whew. Anyway, it's still ace, is this? So I think I'm going to jump up, do a few squats, 
maybe some sort of like star jumps or something just try warm my body temperature up and then um hopefully drop off back to sleep for a few hours well i've decided that the only way i'm going to get warm is if i get the fire going again so i found on this tree behind me on the overhang there's uh, some dry bark so I just uh, break some of this up and try and get it on some of this hot ash. Oh, I might just uh, get this fire going. I hope so, because my feet are freezing. Right, magic blow. <laughs> Come on. It's just so damp everything. Here Blue, come and lie down, come on. You can keep yourself dry. <laughs> well, we're back on there. Back on. Well, I'm so happy I've got that fire going again. Just slowly warming myself up. A couple of birds out. That's going to uh, keep me up if I try to get back to sleep. I could just do with another couple of hours sleep, to be honest. Morning flowers. Well, I've got to say that was a very uncomfortable night. I did fall back to sleep though. Once I got the fire lit, warm my feet up, warm my hands up, and uh, I just sort of wrapped myself a little bit round it just to give you a bit of heat. And um, yeah, fell back to sleep for probably an hour or so. And then uh, woke up, stopped the fire again, got a bit more on it, and then um, just sort of drifted again. So, at least I've slept. I've probably had about four hours sleep in total. Um, and then I got woke up this morning by um, the barking of a deer. They make a bit of a barking sound. And uh, obviously it was barking because it knew that, um, or it could sense that we were around. Um, anyway, it sort of uh, ran off and I could hear it barking off in the distance as well. And now, just got this chorus of birds. I'm just gonna sit here, chill out for a bit, and then uh, we'll get packed up and then uh, back home. But it's been all right. It's better than sitting at home, isn't it? So the sun's just uh, coming up now. It's about 5.30. And I survived the night, that's all it was about. So there is my new game, three item survival. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep fitting one of these in every so often, I think, because um, I just like being able to push myself, just take myself out of my comfort zone and, um, you know, just make my brain work. I have to think and design and work out ways of doing things. And it just, uh, it just 
it makes you develop it makes you grow as a person when you get um, out of your comfort zone and it's the the main way that you can actually become better and more experienced and develop you know, more skills <sighs> but thank god it stopped raining anyway because uh, it was so wet yesterday it really was but i did it i survived and i'm gonna be uh enjoying a nice cup of tea at home soon so i'll uh get packed up make sure there's no trace and then um tea time <laughs> I'll have a bit of that. Oh yeah, that is good. That is good. Nice. 